At a factory in southeast Nigeria, dozens of new white buses stand at the end of the production line, apparently ready to take on some of Africa's toughest roads. Unfortunately for Nigeria's main domestic vehicle assembly firm, they are going nowhere for now. In an economy starved of dollars because of the slump in oil prices, innocent vehicle manufacturing cannot buy imported components, live in the buses without engines, a metaphor for the problems afflicting Africa's most populous nation. Our production capacity last year was 4,000 vehicles for all the models. Uh, this year, we plan to get up to 6,000, but unfortunately, because of the issue of uh, foreign exchange, source of foreign exchange will not um, move much. In the southeastern city of Aba, known as the Japan of Africa until the 1970s, more than 2,000 shoemakers have shot because they cannot pay for imported glue or synthetic leather. In the inflated import costs, consumers in neighboring Cameroon, who used to buy most of Abba's shoes, are now opting for cheaper Chinese footwear. Until recently, three trucks laden with shoes and bags left the city for Cameroon every week. Now, it is one every fortnight. Abba's Shoemakers Association once had almost 6,000 members headed by Good Luck Mary, who says many have now been forced to abandon the trade. Initially, in the early 70s, 80s, if you come down here in Powerline, this place was booming with a crowd of people, workers. I started by training up to five within my own table. But today, hardly you see anybody with any apprentice. The government under Buhari has spent 400 billion naira on building roads or improving the power supply. But that has had little impact in a country of 190 million that has suffered decades of mismanagement. The main roads around Abba, whose shoes are set to have rivaled even Italian footwear in the decade after independence, are littered with potholes and in some parts a little more than dirt tracks. We are expecting a lot from the federal government. Number one, cash to finance our business. Then the equipment, the machineries we use, will be using to do the work so that it will be easier for us. The central bank has given incentives for banks to give more loans to small businesses, but few lenders take the risk these days.